Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalries. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. This is impressive! Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! Oh. <laughs> ow! Ow, 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 ow! <laughs> Hide! <laughs> Great! More gas! The mine carts! something about the gas. Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? Seriously? Fishing? tracks now time to move buddy let's go <laughs> to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering? Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you.
know how much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jessie, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jessie, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, uh, crap. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Sure, if you can save the world. No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm, you must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Okay, sure, that would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. But some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people I did. Tell me about this machine of yours. It's freaking huge. The mighty Mechmaster 9 million? Yeah, <laughs> it's huge. It's bigger than huge. It's immense. Does it do anything other than be big? It walks, I think. But most importantly, it'll totally nab me the spot as Eligard's protege. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? What am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Mm, the perfect fusion of my two loves, cows, and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. 
Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Well, I saw you over there talking to him. What lies has he been telling you? What's he saying these days? I told him I wouldn't tell you. He thinks you're a cow killer, a real cow cruelty nut. That little ah. Uh, I'm about to show him. Hey, uh, yo, schoolboy. Uh, we're gonna have some words. Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. Guess I just call. Oh no, my machine! Oh my cows! Ah, oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Ah, uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh no, your amazing invention. You! You did this! Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh my cows! My poor cows! But notice you checking out my cowapult friend. It's got an easy to use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first. <gasps> oh, believe me, he'll love it. I've never known a cow not to like it. It's safe, right? I mean, I wouldn't oh, want. Oh, I've never known anything so safe in my life. Okay, Reuben, it's time for a game of Super Pig! <laughs> Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Bam, door open. Guards Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. seen in my life you can say that again come on let's keep moving <laughs> what are those things even for maybe i don't know breaking things up keeping intruders out there are lots of possibilities okay almost Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. 
You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all these, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients. Now, I don't want to alarm you, Olivia, but I have no idea what I'm looking at. Here. I don't know what it is yet either. That's why I'm studying it. Come on, let's keep moving. That's awesome. Are those? Bats? Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. This is just like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request, operational. Whoa, hi, hey, didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and Genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <laughs> adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Jesse, she thinks we're her new assistants. Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, oh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... <laughs> hmm. Fine, I'll just do it myself then. Come on, come on, come on. Big winner, big winner, big. Loser! Ugh. Trial number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... No. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts, I could have tripped over you and conked my brain. Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm, and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who who sent you? Was it Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. I've seen one of those before. It's a command block. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra-genius level stuff here. 
We've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You're the ones who brought this. It came up, no note or anything, and I was terribly curious about where it had come from. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Long time. Yes, the amulet. Gabriel gave it to me. He did? Can I have it back, please? Sure, whatever. I don't even like amulets. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing, or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. Is that even possible? Can you really do that? This is the Eligard you're talking to, who is me, if you're confused. And I, Eligard, will make a command block today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic.
Okay, just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Yeah. there oh Jesse is that you Lucas did you build all of this well yeah I, I figured I would try and fortify the place you know nice I'm so glad you're back and we brought Eligard fantastic quick come on you guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone Hey guys, how's it going? I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. I don't understand. How did you escape? You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Did the Witherstorm leave anything? Is anything left of our home? It's all a blur, but the Witherstorm left almost nothing behind. Everything, everyone, was just gone. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. Boy, can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Call this a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. And this is a problem? You bet it is. I will not work with him. Not after... Mm, well, let's not talk about it. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So... Who are you, then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll be the judge of that, huh? We are reuniting the Order of the Stone. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the King of Boomtown. We've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. Did you say king? Yeah, I did. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnic. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well... This is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean. But I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus. That's very... sweet. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. Little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your little workshops? Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Well... I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. You're members of the Order. You two can't handle this? 
Whoa, give us a minute, all right? We just barely got here. We'll get it. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. Only Soren were here. He might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. What are you talking about? What did Soren have? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. But I've never seen Well, the Formida bomb sounds perfect. We should go get it now. Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether or the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. How are you holding up, Lucas? I'm all right. This has all been pretty intense. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on... All right, I'm gonna go get this map activated. Yep, you're the one with the amulet. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. Let's stop hanging around here and go get us some super TNT. Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Who is that? Oh, no, it's... That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move. Not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Righteous. We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning, avoiding all the no time monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. I think it's following us, Magnus, and I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go now. Yeah, I don't want the Witherstorm catching up with us. We should go now. An excellent call, Jesse. And far more decisive than either of us are being. What a coincidence that it's your plan, but fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Hey. Thanks. Yo, we haven't really gotten a chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. I heard you saved your friend back there from this Witherstorm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. Humility. Nice. I can dig it. Kinda wish you had my back before. But whatever. Still seem alright. Ish. 
What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little, uh, doofy, you know? He's like a little puppy. You don't know whether you want to hug it or just walk away. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk sometimes, but he's our jerk, you know? Can't help but like him. Interesting. Very interesting. Then why didn't you listen to his plan to come get me? Was I just not your cup of tea or didn't think you could handle it? I do have that effect on people sometimes. I don't know. I just wanted to go with Olivia instead, I guess. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I guess that's fair. Sort of. <laughs> I'll try not to let it hurt my feelings too much. Well, just keep on your toes. See? This is why I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the wither storm. We can hash all that out later. We got some monsters to fight here, people. Daytime. How far is Zorin? It has to be close, right? Not much farther we can make it! from anyone. Enchanting, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! Get out of here. Olivia and the others already went ahead. Wow. This architecture, it's incredible. Looks like the others already swam across. Guess we better catch up. Oh, be quiet! It's just a pointless building! That's all I'm saying! I mean, look Madness, at- Madness, if an artist- That's it! I'm going! Once again, it falls to me to take care of everything. I'll find this super TNT myself. Oh, no, no, no! 
You do not get to be the one who walks away. That's it. I'm going. See? I'm walking away too now. Super TNT. Here I come. It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Forget them. We're here now, so let's focus on what's important. What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Petra doesn't look so good. Hey, Petra. Hey. You okay? I'm glad he came along, even if it did take a bit of persuading. If they made a statue of me, I wouldn't choose that pose. I'd look like this. Okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. Well, let's split up. bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this all. It's a little tough to talk about. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thanks for being so understanding. You got me away from the wither storm, but I'm worried that I didn't get away soon enough. What? too long after you saved me. What is that? What's wrong with your arm? Do you know what wither is? The wither? Of course. We've been... No, Jesse. Just wither. Or wither sickness, I guess. And I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others. We can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. <sighs> ah! Creeper! Grab my hand, I'll pull you up. <laughs> Jesse, I just couldn't. I'm sorry. Jesse? Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, I got this. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. <laughs>
must have something useful in here. He has to. Why would he have so many books? Hey, show yourself. Who's there? <gasps> you. Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. You found your way in here? So now you may find it back out again. Ivor, just calm down, okay? I think we're here for the same reason. I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Sorry, Ivor, I'm... Oh, you're not going anywhere. Petra, you escaped? <laughs> ah, foolish girl! I... Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. You should let the order down. They'll know what to do. That kind of justice is too good for this monster. Stop me! You'll have to catch me first! Jesse, look out! You're not getting out of here that easy, Ivor. <laughs> uh, I'm like the wind! Jesse, you could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you.
Ah. He could be anywhere. Stay on your guard. Vanish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. <laughs> no! End of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away with this. This one's on you, you puffed up fool! There's no time for this. Jesse! Petra! Even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. Stopped him. Jesse did, anyway. False. You have stopped nothing. Query, have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? Magnus and Eligard may think they can stop me, that they can destroy the Wither Storm, but they are mistaken, and it will cost them their lives. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or would they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. <laughs>